All right, all right. Yes, thank you very much for staying with us once again and joining us on this channel, Sports 7 GH. It's always a great, great pleasure to have you join us. Thank you very much for staying. The news coming in is that Ghana Black Stars may likely be playing their games and the rest of the African Cup of Nations qualifiers this year in Nigeria. According to Joy Sports, we are going to be talking about that. Will it be a good idea for Ghana to play in Nigeria? In fact, we have about three countries we can select nigeria cote d'ivoire morocco and even the likes of togo our neighboring countries if there are accepted stadiums there we can select from there and nigeria should we go to nigeria or not another Ghanaian has joined a spanish club girona fc and he's going to join the girona b team and we are going to give you the details about this particular player also on this channel sports 7gh after yesterday two Ghanaian players were announced by fc barcelona in spain um another Ghanaian has been announced by girona we are going to look at all of those issues in this video another trending thing in sports and football right now is the fact that a Ghanaian uh, politician is in fact is promising his constituents that he's going to fly them to the united states of america for the world cup 2026 if they, he's voted into power and all of those issues um, are coming here on this channel do also subscribe to the channel like this video hit the notification bell and select all leave your thoughts and comments below in the comment section if you have any it's always a great great pleasure to have you join us thank you very much for staying pious enam hadzide is a former deputy sports minister and in fact when he was deputy sports minister he had a scandal that's the australian visa scandal he sent in fact it was alleged that he sent people to australia um making those people pose as journalists there was a tournament in australia and he made people pose as journalists and so he sent them there and people were those people he said you know they couldn't do any journalism work they couldn't set cameras they couldn't speak they couldn't write stories they couldn't do anything and so it became a huge issue australian visa scandal um during the early days of president akufado he was removed suspended and then there was um, a committee of inquiry sets into to watch into all of those issues but we didn't get any details about the committee anymore and that is how things actually went with um, Pius Enam Hazide. In fact today it has been trending that he has said that he sent people to the Austra Australia. Even Australia is 18 hours from Ghana to Australia. But he sent people there. Let alone USA, which is just 8 hours or so. He is going to send people. If they vote for him, he's going to send them to he's going to send their children to United States of America so that they are going to work and come and take care of them um here in 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 ghana so that's what enam hajide is saying and it's been trending since morning a lot of people are sharing their views on it now one thing this means is that he has accepted that ghana is not good enough <laughs> and it's not good for the youth of the people that's why if you are in ghana here and you get a chance to travel don't think twice oh jesus christ every day i tell my friends why are you thinking about it what are you thinking about oh and the hold you hold you and the hold and the dear man master what are you talking about me say the whole thing said dear ghana dear and yeah don't think about anything don't think about the bills you are going to pay there don't think about the fact that you can stay at home for some months without getting a job if you finally get a job it will still be better than staying in ghana and having five or three jobs at the same time except you're a politician or a pastor <laughs> so <laughs> he has shown that look there is no future for the youth of the country and so he's going to fly his youth in their constituency to abroad so if, if you also get a chance to go out please jack pass fast don't don't think about anything <laughs> all right <laughs> those of you who are there you can come and pick us all right yeah, yeah, yeah. a lot of people watch me from several you come and pick me because me too <laughs> before jackpot is that not it now let's talk to you about some other issues um in the world of football in fact just this morning too we heard that calf has banned ghana football and um, ghana black stars from in fact he has banned babayara and so the black stars of ghana cannot play at a babayara again babayara previously was the only accepted stadium for any calf and fifa 
sanctioned matches for the black stars and so apart from babayara we couldn't play in any other stadium in the country we got Accra stadium Accra sports stadium the main um the nation's capital stadium banned and not up to standard tamalia not up to standard cape coast not up to standard only babayara was up to standard and this morning we've heard that look we cannot um play matches there again so calf has withdrawn its approval from the babaya Ryan. so the black stars is expected to play the rest of the african cup of nations qualifiers outside of ghana that's the situation and that's the news that has come in a lot of people have shared their views i have shared my views in my first video i think it's a shame and everybody from the president of the nation to the sports minister to everybody at the ghana football association everybody at the national sports authority should bow their heads in shape because it is during their tenure that we've experienced this embarrassment um embarrassment of a news so let's see how things go with um that particular one but the news coming in according to joy sports multimedia is that the ghana black stars is likely to play the rest of the african cup of nations home games in nigeria that's the news coming in nigeria then why will you go to nigeria because if the nigerians hear that ghana blasters are playing the game at nigeria and um, i bet you nigerians will go to the stadium and support the opponents why will you go to nigeria nigeria and ghana we have a huge standing um battle and they will be so glad that we will play in nigeria and not qualify for afcon so nigerians if they know that we are playing at nigeria they're going to do against they're going to support the opponent for the opponent to beat us please don't go to nigeria nigeria the ghana football association don't think about it cra. because even though we joke with them a lot of time i'm telling you they will still do their very best to 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 do against at least go to Cote d'Ivoire. Cote d'Ivoire is very nearby there i know the reason why they would think about nigeria is there are a lot of ghanaians in nigeria that one there's no two ways about that there are a lot of ghanaians in nigeria but there are also a lot of ghanaians in Cote d'Ivoire. go to Cote d'Ivoire. there are a lot of ghanaians in and the border is very close and Cote d'Ivoire are our, our immediate neighbors nigerians are not immediate neighbors if you are in takradi and the rest you can just enter Cote d'Ivoire easily a lot of ghanaians are going back and forth with Cote d'Ivoire. so Cote d'Ivoire, we can travel some or take some um, fans from ghana to Cote d'Ivoire. please go to Cote d'Ivoire. nigeria dear they're going to do against they're going to do against or you don't agree with me if you don't agree with me let me know that in the comment section of this video ghanian young winger ibrahim mohammed has just completed a highly anticipated move to spanish la liga side girona fc ahead of the new season the 18 year old is joining the giro knights on a three-year deal contract following an agreement with his rep representatives and club rising stars of africa fc in ghana the official club statement on instagram reads club and player have completed procedures to join and be available to play with juvenile a that's the second team of girona he was born in ghana 2006 from rising stars of africa fc ibrahim had an amazing spell during his time with rising stars having joined from new tafu opel fc almost nine years ago and has really developed and improved tremendously the mercury <laughs> mercurial playmaker will join girona fc 19 uh, girona fc under 19 at the start of his journey to continue his development um, in his game subsequently hopes to earn himself a push into the senior side of girona girona will be participating in the uefa champions league this season so if you do well and you're able to get a push into the senior side obviously it's going to go very well for this player ibrahim mohammed fantastic ghanaian star who has signed for girona fc in the spanish la liga but he will be playing in the second tier of girona thank you very much for staying with us and joining us once again do want to subscribe to the channel like the video hit the notification bell and select i'll see you in the next one bye bye